Hello, in this video I wanted to uh, talk about an interesting uh, phenomenon I kind of ran across while I was doing some experimenting with this little uh, 19, uh, late 60s Grom uh, Precision Electronics uh, little PA head. Uh, as you'll recall in one of my earlier videos I did kind of a long shredding thing uh, on, with the guitar with some humbuckers through this thing and it sounded pretty awesome actually. Uh, if you look back through a few of my videos you'll probably You'll probably see that one. Uh, otherwise, I'll I'll post a link um, if you have uh, uh, if you have your notes turned on. Uh, as long as you're not doing a filtering on uh, Google. Uh, but at any rate, I wanted to explain a, a, a sort of a phenomenon that I came across here and, and um, uh, did some adjustments on this and actually added a switch here in the center. This is a three-way switch um, that changes uh, one resistor. I wanted to show the effect that one single resistor in an amplifier can have, and, and I'll, after this is done, I'll look at, we'll look at the schematic together and look at exactly which resistor is being changed, and it's probably not the one you would suspect. Um, but yeah, let's listen to it. Uh, right now I'm in the clean mode. Um, I've kind of got a design here of clean and a normal setting, and then an overdrive or fuzz setting. Uh, we're going to try it with a Telecaster this time. Um, so uh, let's uh, start out with it on the clean. And as you'll recall from the previous video of this thing, um, it's it only has one preamp tube, a 6EU7, so it all actually only has one stage of preamp before it goes into a phase inverter uh, on the other half of that 6EU7 and then into a push-pull pair of uh, EL84s. So not much of a preamp really to work with to, to beef up the volume before it gets to those uh, EL84s. So you kind of have to you kind of have to experiment with other things to get the uh, to get the volume up. Right now that's completely cranked and that's more or less bedroom volume on that clean setting. Here's the schematic um, for this little lamp uh, in its modified form. And uh, here's the input stage. Um, we have a, a cathode biased first stage here with a 25 microfarad 
bypass cap, uh, fairly standard. I've got a I've got a fairly large um, grid leak resistor here of 3.3 meg. Um, that's that's slamming all of the uh, signal I can into that first stage. Um, I've replaced these 220 Ks from the original one down to 100 Ks on these uh, plate resistors. Um, also, I have uh, vastly beefed up uh, this resistor uh, just before the, uh, the 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 phase inverter here, uh, which is a cathodyne uh, phase inverter. Uh, put an 8.2 meg in this position. Um, down here is where the magic is happening. Here is the switch that was added. Um, I, some of you may have seen this schematic before I added this, but um, here it is in its present form. Uh, what's happening is uh, the 100K is the uh, clean. Uh, if you switch over to 47K, that's what I'm calling the normal, basically. Uh, and this 1.5K is uh, creating that overdrive. Uh, you probably could also put um, a pot in this position, say something like a, uh, you know, 100K or something like that here, um, which would have basically the same effect. It would go from 100K all the way down to zero then. Um, or you could put a you know a series resistor into a 100k pot so that you would have a minimum of say 1.5 and then 100 100k above that. So uh, you could do something uh, like that here as well if you chose. Um, but this is uh, this is something interesting. I think what's happening here is um, it's it's throwing the the phase uh, kind of out of balance between the tubes. Um, so one tube is pushing more than the other um, and it's uh, probably screwing with the output waveforms somehow um, not really sure to be honest uh, some of you tech other tech guys might chime in and, and give your theories as to what's happening here but uh, you can look back in the video and see that again the 100k is producing the what I'm calling clean uh, the 47k is producing uh, what I'm calling the normal and then this 1.5 if you go that low it's, uh, it's giving us all that fuzz and crunch um, and with a humbucker uh, in this position with that 1.5 it sounds really amazing um, but yeah so you know chime in with your thoughts tell me what you think is happening in this circuit when you uh, switch this and we'll uh, have a discussion about it